There it is, and there is your leader. Vogler in a Cosworth, second as you indicated. Mel Kenyon in the Volkswagen. One lap to go, five eighths of a mile. Slides off the second corner, heads down the back stretch, works that steering wheel. He's not working the greatest. He's working good, but not the best. I don't think anyone is working that well in this racetrack. Look at him working the cockpit. We got a wrap. Problem over in turn three. Mark Dismore side by side, end over end. Jack and then Jack slides back into him. Let's check Dismore. Let's check for the movement in the cockpit. A nasty ride. The red flag, the checkered there flag. He is. And Dismore is moving. Vogler has won the race. The checkered flag came out with the red flag. And there is a look at the winner, Rich Vogler, as he goes past the crash scene. Takes a glance over to see what the problem may be as they're working now with Mark Dismore. Mark, a past national go-kart champion in a car that he bought here at Raceway Park after this car won the night before the 500 a year ago with uh, Nick Fonoro Jr. And you can see the crew still working and you can see moving in the cockpit as Mark Dismore is talking with the rescue workers. Jack Calabrese is out of his car. We're going to get a replay here, Gary. Let's see, see what we, happened. Yeah, let's see if we can see what transpired as they were battling for position. Dismore in the light blue car. There goes Jack Calarace on the inside, and they simply get together right there. Calarace airborne for a moment, hard into the wall, and let's see what triggers this. He caught his tire and started rolling, and look at the roll cage oh. doing the job. Look how far the body can stretch out, even with the harness, the seat belt, but it was the roll cage again that did its job. Oh, yes, and, and there was a case of... of Jack Calabrese was loose all night in the bottom. He tried to make a pass on the inside, and when he comes in the corner, he right just... there they are, and the two get together. He just gets loose enough. He rides up over the tire, and that puts both cars out of shape. And with these offsets in these cars for the pavement, the left side tires are so close to the body that when you get sliding sideways, it puts so much weight on them, it just sticks the tire so tight, they start turning over. You were racing, of course, when the roll cage came in, were you not? I was racing before they had roll cages. And there is a scene again as uh, working with Mark Dismore right now, and he obviously is very, very shaky. It's what you call getting your bell rung real well, and they're trying to walk him through it right now. So I would assume that with the safety crew down there, they can't think anything's too serious. They would not be walking Mark over to the ambulance. No, I'm sure he got the wind knocked out of him. And it looked as though he, he may have been unconscious for a moment because he didn't move for a minute, then he came to, and he's, he's I'm sure he's hurting. That, that, uh, when you but it did, did not show his hands coming off the steering wheel, though, which would indicate that apparently he had a good grasp on the steering wheel and was not knocked out. That, that's true. Watch again. Watch the cockpit of the light blue 81. Watch Mark Dismore. Watch the abuse the cage takes, but watch the helmet flail about Watch the neck stretch out and see how far the body stretches when this car starts this series of snap rolls side for side. Yes, he's lost his hands. There. Has he? See his hand right there? He's lost his hands. And it's the, it's the arm restraints that keep his hands in tight enough that it keeps him out of harm's way from that cage. And that was a very nasty flip because when you do those snap barrel rolls, if you move around so hard inside the car and then when it comes up in the air and it comes down hard on the tail, you're already knocked out. It just, it really hurts everything in your neck and shoulders and back because you, you're not stiff. Well, once again, it is a good sign, though, even though he was rubber-legged, that he was walking away because, again, if there were some serious injury, a safety crew would not allow a driver to walk away. He'd be extricated, placed in the gurney, and taken to the ambulance. Tonight's Winter Circle interview is brought to you by Goodyear Eagle Tires. Goodyear, because there really is a difference. Standing by with our victor, here's Brian Hammonds. Rich Vogel, this has been a, kind of a disappointing series for you up until tonight, but it looked like it all came together. Well, it did. We had engine problems earlier on about the middle of the series, but uh, this Cosworth really pulled through tonight. Uh, actually, I was in Michigan this morning practicing with, with the cart people, and Don Kenyon, Don and Mel Kenyon and put the engine in for me, and, and uh, it seems like they did a good job. What went through your mind when the yellow came out with seven laps to go after you were just pulling away from everybody? Well, I didn't know I was pulling away, but uh, with seven laps to go, I, I knew the car was working well, and I, I figured possibly Calabrese or somebody like that would, would be able to give me a challenge, but it looked like I was, I was on my own. All right, Rich Vogler puts it all together tonight and wins here at Indianapolis Raceway Park. Gary? 
We talked earlier about uh, Mel and Don working on the competition's cars on race day, and there's an example right there that they put this car together and he wins. Yeah. We're going to check on the condition of Mark Dismore. We'll come back with more from Raceway Park after these messages. Good news, I think, Steve Chassis, in that uh, as the ambulance pulls away, we understand there were no visible injuries for Mark Dismore. He's being taken to Methodist Hospital in downtown Indianapolis for observation only, and that is very, very good news considering the impact and the violent nature of the snap rolls. It's very good news for more than one reason. It's good news you're taking him in because when, when, you, uh, when you crash that hard, you can't tell if you're hurt inside. They'll take him down and x-ray him and make sure he's good before they're turning loose. And a good case of rapid racing rheumatism, no matter what the injury may be this evening. Tonight's midget action has been brought to you by Quaker State Motor Oil. The big Q stands for quality. Always has, always will. By Goodyear Eagle Tires. Goodyear because there really is a difference. And by True Value Hardware. For quality, selection, and personal attention, make True Value Hardware your store for first choice. Sports Center coming up next. The midgets again next week. For Steve Chassie, Brian Hammonds, I'm Gary Lee. Thanks for joining us. Good night.